It's said that there is a big fish, it's formed from drowned ghosts. Many people have tried to catch it, but it's impossible. On the day when Edward's son was born, he caught an enormous catfish with his wedding ring. To celebrate his son's birthday, and he also wanted his son to have a chance to catch it, Edward released the fish. This is also the story that Will has heard many times for more than 20 years. His father is an ordinary man, but he always likes to brag. Even on Will's wedding day, he doesn't forget to repeat the story of the big fish, which makes Will lose face. Night in your entire life, the universe did not revolve around Edward Bloom. How can you not understand that? Sorry to embarrass you. Will hasn't talked to his father for three years, until his father calls and his father is in critical condition. He and his wife go back home, when seeing the child is playing with the hand shadow, it reminds him of the strange fairy tales his father always told when he was a child. The father in the story was born to be extraordinary. He flew out of his mother's belly like a fish, when he grew up and heard that there were witches in town, he took risks no one else dared to get close to the witch's house, but he was the only one. He saw his own death in the witch's glass eye. Will believed this story for a long time, until he grew up, he didn't believe. His father is always talking some ridiculous things, now he doesn't know how long his father can live. He is afraid that he will never get to know his father again. True versions of things, events, stories. You. The father still lives in his own world. He hates being stuck but now he has to be on the bed all the time. It reminds Will of his childhood. When he was sick and had to be in bed, his father told him the stores to comfort him. Other people grow up slowly, but his father grew up in few seconds. Muscles and bones couldn't keep pace with growth, so he had stayed in bed for three years, he read books to kill time. It was said in the book that goldfish were small fish, if you gave it more space, it would grow into big fish. The father realized that he needed a lot of space. As he grew up older, he became a teenage boy. He was good at everything, and became a famous boy in the small town until one day there was a monster in town which ate poultry. Because the father already knew his death in advance, knew that the monster wouldn't hurt him, so he took the initiative to get the monster away. So why are you wasting your time in a small town? You're a big man, you should be in a big city. The small town couldn't hold the giant and that was also what the father wanted. So they decided to leave together. There were two roads after leaving the town, one was a big road, and the other one was a small road in the forest. Because of curiousness, the father chose the small rod. He asked the giant to meet at the end of the road. He walked alone on the dangerous road. After going through the dark and dangerous road, the father found a wonderful town, Spectre. At the entrance to the town, there were full of shoes. People walked barefoot on the soft lawn. The mayor warmly welcomed him and introduced him to Nord. Nord was a poet. Like Edward, he had come to this town for years. He had a wonderful life here. He wrote three sentences in twelve years. The grass so green, the skies so blue and Spectre is really great. The mayor's daughter really liked Edward. To keep him stay, she took off his shoes and hanged them up. But Edward still wanted to meet the giant. So he decided to leave the Spectre town. When he was about to leave, the mayor's daughter still didn't give up. I promise me you'll come back. I promise. Someday. When I'm really supposed to. Then after meeting the giant, they went to the big city together. This place was full of lights and colors. When they watched the circus performance, the appearance of the giant conquered the head of the circus. So he let the audience leave, and tried to persuade the giant to stay. At that time, Edward saw his future wife in the crowd. She was very beautiful and he found that she was his whole life's love. In an instant, time stopped. Edward went through the crowd, pulled out the popcorn in the air, and came to his wife. But no one told him that. What they don't tell you is that once time starts again, it moves extra fast to catch up. To get some information about his future wife, he worked without salary in the circus for three years. The head of the circus didn't want Edward to leave, so every month he only told Edward a little bit about Will's mother. Gradually, Edward knew that Will's mother's family was very rich. She loved Narcissus, was going to university, and liked music. But he still didn't know her name and where to find her. He didn't want to wait anymore, so he found the head of the circus. Unexpectedly, he met a wolf. Edward was so kind, and he didn't let his colleague kill it, and played with it all night. The next day, the wolf was the head of the circus. To thank Edward because of not killing him, he told the truth. Will's mother's name was Sandra, studied at Auburn University, and the semester was about to finish. Edward rushed to her place to ask for love, but Sandra told she got engaged. In Edward's dictionary, there was no word, give up. The drawing was shown in Sandra's class, the cloud in the sky. In the early morning, Edward set the garden full of flowers. I told him it was the only way to get my wife to marry me. You don't even know me. I have the rest of my life to find out. Opposite of Edward was Sandra's lover, Don. 
When Don hit Edward ruthless, Sandra decided to return her ring to Don, and became a couple with Edward, but those happy days didn't last long, a short period of time after getting married, Edward had to join the military. In the front line, he missed Sandra at all time. In one time doing the mission, Edward ran away with twin sisters, who were controlled by the enemy. At that time, because of having no information about Edward, they send Sandra Edward's death announcement. Four months later, he came back. Finally, they had a happy life together. To earn a living, Edward worked as a toy seller. He met Nord by chance. Nord said that year, after Edward left the town, it encouraged him to leave the Spectre town and experience the life outside. Therefore, today he came to rob the bank. Edward somehow became an accomplice. Because of the decline of the economy, the bank went bankrupt. They only could get $400. Edward felt sorry for Nord, and explained the economic situation. After hearing all, Nord said, I should go to Wall Street. That's where all the money is. Then, Nord brought the present Edward gave him, and headed to Wall City. After earning $1 million, Nord came back and gave Edward $10,000. Edward was going to refuse but Nord said, this was what Edward had to receive because he encouraged Nord a lot to work. Edward spent that amount of money buying a house with a white fence. They lived full of happiness and fun every day. They gradually had a happy life as a present when Will grew up. Back to the present, Will has his own family and doesn't want to hear any story from his father. Good, bad, everything, just, just show me who you are for once. I've been nothing but myself since the day I was born. And if you can't see that it's your failing, not mine. Will turns back and has nothing to say. But when Will is cleaning the pool, there is an enormous fish swimming across. It seems to tell Will that his father didn't lie to him. That day, Will cleans the room with his mother, they suddenly find the death announcement in that year. That really happened? Not everything your father says is a complete fabrication. Edward didn't say but Will wants to check. Thanks to a piece of paper, he found a woman, she is the Spectre Mayor's daughter. Will doubts his father had an affair with Jenny. If not, why he didn't care about the family. Jenny said, he has come here only twice. The first time was when he got lost in Spectre Town, and the second time was to save this town. That year, the town was found by the outside people. The bank came to and exploited. Debt made the town in danger of bankrupt. When Edward came, the town was at auction. He didn't have money but he tried to persuade the rich people to buy it. And kept the beauty of the town. Therefore, the mayor's daughter could live in her town. She also showed her love to Edward but he was very loyal to Sandra. I'm in love with my wife. Stay I saw her till the day I die. She's the only one. To Edward, this world has only two women. One is his mother, the other one is his wife. Edward is such a kind man. Will's mood is extremely complicated, he has never understood his father. When he's back home, the house is empty. Because Edward's health gets worse, he has to be in the hospital. The doctor asks Will if he knows what happened on the day he was born. Will smiles and tells the story of the big fish which he has heard many times. The doctor tells him the truth, his mother gave birth prematurely, and was brought to the hospital by neighbors. His father was busy and couldn't be there, so he always felt guilty about that. Therefore, he made up a fairy story to make Will's birthday become full of hope. That's his father. His whole life went through many hardships, but he always kept an optimistic look. Making the hardships become fairy tales, and bringing happiness and warmth to everyone. But the people in his stories are not fictitious. They are whom his father helped. A giant monster is a tall man. The twin sisters are true but they don't stick to each other. And also a Nord poet. They all came to Edward's funeral, talking about his ordinary life but full of interests. Before Edward passed away, finally Will realizes his attitude, therefore, he decided to continue the story, an optimistic and kind man like Edward, would never die in bed. He left the hospital and came to the riverbank. As a hero, he waved to everyone. Everyone smiled and didn't show any bad mood in front of his death. Sandra was waiting for him in the river to come to get the ring. Then let him sink into the water, turning into an enormous fish as his wish. This movie is Big Fish by Tim Burton. Also translated as Great Wisdom Like a Fish, it's about an emotional story between father and son. Short but full of emotion. Father is not good at showing his love like mother, when they get older, they will become self-opinionated and silent. However, have you ever asked for his past and truly understood him? Maybe every father used to be very motivated when they were young, but they had many responsibilities to take, so they became an ordinary man in the crowd. So they became a normal man between the crowd. However, the bigotry with love is still the most romantic thing.